here in i button and description box below you will get complete playlist of laplace transform uh, and <clears throat> here we are going to solve a problem which is from the topic inverse laplace transform basically uh, i would uh, like to show you something that is from video number 19 okay from video number 19 to video number yes that is 30 we are solving various problems on the topic inverse laplace transform all these questions are very 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 important i would i would suggest you i would request you to solve each and every problem okay and that too in this sequence only in this sequence only so that you will get very good uh, command over this topic okay and over this all these questions out of all these questions this question number 27 is most important problem okay other questions are also very important but this is the most important problem okay so let us start with the problem welcome to video number 23 and in this video we are going to solve fifth problem on the topic that is inverse laplace transform this is one of the very good questions so let us start with this problem the question is evaluate or solve inverse laplace transform of 3 into s square minus 2 whole square upon 2 into s to the power 5 okay here in the in this question f bar of s is given as 3 into s square minus 2 whole square upon 2 into s to the power 5 okay let us start to solve let us try to solve this problem okay here we have f bar of s that is this part that is 3 into s square minus 2 whole square upon 2 into s to the power 5 okay now we are going to apply s a minus b whole square a minus b whole square formula so that we will have okay so that we can expand this that is 3 upon s 3 upon 2 3 upon 2 into s to the power s, s to the power 5 is as it is we can rewrite this as s square okay square of this s square that is s to the power 4 this is basically a square minus 2 a b plus b square okay this is s to the power 4 minus 2 into 2 into s square that is minus 4 into s square plus 2 to the power 2 to the power 2 to the power 2 that is 4 okay now we are going to uh, separate these terms okay this is 3 upon 2 okay now we are uh, opening this square bracket okay 3 upon 2 is a constant so we are taking this outside of this square bracket we are left with s to power 4 upon s to power 5 okay that is 1 upon s now we have minus 4 s square upon s to power 5 okay minus 4 into s square upon s to power 5 so minus 4 will be as it is s to power 2 upon s to power 5 that is 1 upon s to power 3 okay finally we have plus 4 upon s to the power 5 fine yes so we have this part okay so f bar of s which is this part can be written as this part also okay now we are going to apply uh, inverse laplace transform on both sides okay so taking inverse laplace transform on both sides so we have inverse laplace transform f bar of s which can be written as this part okay which can be written as inverse okay 3 upon 2 is a constant value so taking this out of this square bracket okay <coughs> inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s okay minus 4 inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s to power 3 plus 4 into inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s to the power 5 okay now yes we have the formula for inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s that is how much yeah inverse laplace transform 1 upon s is how much 1 okay Be one of the very easiest formula yes so 3 upon 2 is out uh, out of this square bracket inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s can be written as 1 okay minus 4 as it is we have formula for inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s to the power n and that is what inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s to the power n is t to the power n minus 1 upon factorial n minus 1 okay i repeat this once again this is a very 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 important formula inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s to the power n can be written as t to the power n minus 1 upon factorial n minus 1 okay and the value of n is how much here that is 3 okay so minus 4 as it is inverse laplace transform 1 upon s to the power 3 is how much t to the power n minus 1 okay that is 3 minus 1 upon factorial 3 minus 1 that is factorial 2 okay so this can be written as t square upon factorial 2 now coming to the last term that is 4 into 4 is as it is inverse laplace transform 1 upon s to the power 5 okay again we are going to use this formula okay here the value of n is how much 5 so we are going to write t to the power 5 minus 1 that is 4 upon factorial n minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 that is again factorial 4 okay yes now 
solving this part that is 3 upon 2 is again outside of this square bracket 1 is as it is factorial to is how much 2 so 4 upon 2 that is 2 times t square okay again to the power 4 is here 4 upon factorial 4 is how much 24 so 4 upon 24 will get 6 okay in the denominator part now we are going to open this bracket open this square bracket so 3 upon 2 that into 1 that is 3 upon 2 fine minus 3 upon 2 into 2 into t square so 2 2 will get cancelled we are left with minus of 3 t square okay again 3 upon 2 into t to the power 4 upon 6 so uh, cancel the, this 3 with this 6 we are left with 2 so 2 into 2 that is 4 so we are left with t to the power 4 upon 4 okay and this is going to be my final answer okay thank you so much